Season 2, Episode 4 of The Santa Clauses, titled Miracle on Dead Creek Road, is really, really interesting and very different. After the events of the last episode, Episode 3, which we saw Sandra kind of turn the Easter Bunny into a bunny. Now, Easter supposedly is canceled, but no. Scott Calvin, Santa Claus, kind of rounds up the troops. They have a meeting, and Easter will go on as planned, but from the North Pole. Now, he kind of designates different things to everyone. Carol and Sandra have to go to the Easter Bunny's home in order to get the magic Easter basket with the eggs in it. And then Santa Claus and his son, Cal, have to deliver the eggs for Easter. So all while all that's going on, we have Magnus Antis kind of now has that Santa in training magic vest. And he changes Santopolis, the Museum of Santa, into a wondrous occasion with the character of Chris Kringle, Gabriel Iglesias' character, kind of being like, wow, I didn't expect this to happen. And you can see that he likes it, but also is kind of weary about Magnus Antis and Olga. And it's just really interesting, the back and forth that Olga and Magnus Antis has. Olga is a great character, very sarcastic, fun, and it's just really, really good. Seeing Eric Stone Street at Magnus Antis is really, really great. Now, not only that, back at the North Pole, Noel and the other elves are trying to figure out what to do and not tell Santa about what's happening. But the Sandman comes in and has to check up on things because of the other uh, elders or the legends, so to speak, like Father Time, Mother Nature, uh, you know, Cupid, and they all want to figure out what's going on. But they kind of put the Sandman back to sleep while that's going on. We see that Scott Calvin kind of gets a new update of new kind of trinkets in a way. And these trinkets are a watch where if he taps it three times, he turns back to his human form that we know and love as Scott Calvin, Tim Allen. And then he's given a hat and the hat makes him disappear because the Easter Bunny kind of does his thing as he's disappearing. And so Scott Calvin and his son Cal go to each home and they put down the Easter uh, eggs. And the thing is, they have to go back to the homes because Cal messed up and put the stink eggs there and they have to figure that out and um, Sandra and her mother Carol kind of go to the Easter Bunny's home and they find the magic basket and uh, everything is fine but then like Sandra is upset because she uses magic she doesn't want to use it anymore she has to get her frustrations out so her and her mother kind of like just ransack and destroy the Easter Bunny's home when it's already been ransacked and destroyed so they get back to uh, Santa Claus and they figure everything out. He gets the magic uh, Easter basket and the eggs and he goes to her. And then while everything happens, Scott has a little surprise for Cal. And it's like, wait, what's happening? He wants Cal to go and apologize to Riley and everything. But it's a trap. It's a trap is set. Magnus Antis feels the presence of Scott Calvin. And Scott Calvin kind of gets caught as his son Cal in this makeshift trap that Olga put together, but then they come face to face. Magnus Antis and Santa Claus come face to face and they're like, what what's happening? What's what's going on? Carol kind of frees Scott and her son. They get on the sleigh, they leave, and then Magnus Antis is just looking on with glowing eyes. And that's the end of the episode. It's a fun, fun episode. It's in your face. Uh, the only thing that I really don't like about, I want to say, of this show is the elves. Noel and the other elves are just kind of annoying at times. It's just that over rambunctious, boisterous kind of characters that they have. Feels like it serves no purpose because it's so much chaos. But then it's like, do they really need like these characters? Like anytime Tim Allen or the other cast come on, great. Well then when they go to the elves it's like what what purpose is it? There are some funny jokes thrown around here and there, but it just doesn't feel cohesive enough with the elves and the story of Santa Claus going on. Seeing Gabriel Iglesias is, in this is really great, and seeing him, that, uh, that how his Santopolis is going is fun, and Magnus Anton doing all he can, but then he wants that, you know, power of being at the North Pole and being Santa Claus. This season, like the first, is six episodes. I'm very curious to see how it's going to end. Um, will we get a third season? Don't know. If you do the, a third season, come up with a really, really good story. I mean, we're slowly seeing the other legends of kind of the mythical folklore, like the Sandman and everyone else, and, you know, the Easter Bunny and Cupid and 
you know, now that Santa Claus knows everything, and he's slowly getting visions of Magnus Antis, and he's knowing what's going on. I feel like episode five is going to be everyone or the elves telling Santa who Magnus Antis is, because they have a history with Magnus Antis, the Mad Santa. And is the Mad Santa really mad? Or is it just Olga doing everything? And will he find his amulet? That's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Not a bad episode, but it's getting going, which is really, really good. Like I said, I just don't like the elf characters. They can just be put aside and, okay, whatever. Just focus on Tim Allen's character, which is what it should be. But they go back and forth, and it doesn't really fit how the story is progressing. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Season 2, Episode 4 of The Santa Clauses, titled Miracle on Dead Creek Road. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What do you think about the story, how it's progressing? Do you like the characters of the elves? Who's your favorite character this season? Who's your least favorite character? And do you want to see a third season? And how do you think everything will wrap up in this second season? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. And be sure you tune in next week for my Season 2 Episode 5 review of The Santa Clauses.